Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on Seward for Good. Today I'm going to talk about water stops and how you use those water stops in your, your waterproofing application and how they evolved. Back many years ago when I started in this industry, there were no real water stops being sold out there as water stops. They were sort of custom made on site by contractors to make them work. And you know, the old shower tray was formed with a, with a hob where you know, they used timber hobs and we went to hebel hobs and then we went to the uh, step down shower and that's really where the evolution of water stops evolved where people wanted a nice neat streamlined shower alcove you want to control the water uh, the water containment under that tile bed and so having a water stop it makes really good sense particularly in bathrooms and wet areas at two areas the shower alcove for where you've got your screed and your shower screens, etc., and ensuring that you don't have that water from a shower alcove just spreading out underneath the tile bed and moving out. And the other area is at door stops, at the doors, doorways, I should say, a water stop, the doorway. And often, I see a lot of the times even builders or waterproofers hoping that they can get away with that. They've used a water stop in the shower alcove, or they've got to step down the shower. But putting a water stop at the doorway where you've got your tile bed makes really good sense and you need to just you need to waterproof and seal that water stop to the floor obviously because at the end of the day for whatever reason in the future if you have a flooded area a flooded wet area floor you know or, the, or there's some sort of drainage blockage you know that you can contain the water to that height of that water stop in that wet area and, there, and outside the door architrave you've got the waterproofing membrane that should be a minimum of 150 high around the rest of the floor to protect the surfaces but where water stops we're seeing more come into play now, and I urge many of you to start looking at this, is at balcony alcoves and external waterproofing. There are some really neat systems out there available, and you see some slides up there now, where we've seen the, the evolution of these enter the market, and everyone goes to me, oh, they're an, an extra cost. They're not an extra cost. They actually protect your waterproofing. They protect that work working with the tile. If you're the tile are doing the waterproofing, you should integrate these. But they work as like a drip tray. They contain that water to prevent water going out underneath the tile bed. Sometimes you've actually got a waterproof system that works from water sitting on top of the membrane, but from a, a side entry where you've got a fascia exposed to the, the elements in the weather, water can still get blown in underneath that tile bed and it end, ends up into the eaves, it ends up in the timber fascia and it actually tracks. By actually using water stops with your tile bed for external balcony situations, it makes good sense and you start to get your client thinking about what the value is on that. Explain to them there is value in a water stop, not a cost, because then they understand that that is going to help, uh, it's going to help round out your warranty. Okay, if you're actually offering a waterproofing system, it can't just be the membrane. I've said this many times, you've heard me, it's all connected about the waterproofing, the application, the way doors, the way windows are installed, the substrate. And water stops are a big part of that. And there's some really neat brands on the market. And every month I see new technology coming to the market. Some from overseas designs, from a front, some from Australian made. But get online, check out water stops. You'll see that some of the, the resellers out there, some of the waterproofing resellers out there will actually sell and market them. Some of the tile stores will as well. But check them out because there are a multitude of designs for all types of waterproofing applications and tile designs as well and with shower screens and your shower alcoves. And if you see that it's actually not implemented, introduce your builder to it and get them to bring it into their design team so it gets shown into the drawings because really it should be something that's a standard thing now used all the time and we're going to see more of that being used. The more quality people are using these sorts of water stops in their waterproofing application, you're going to bring the industry up and everyone's doing a better job out there. So if you've got any inquiries about that, we can help you out on 1-800-650-435. We don't sell water stops, but we're all about improving the industry. So whether you're using our products or not, we'll help guide you on how you might be able to find the right information there. And don't forget to subscribe to Seward for Good because there's lots of good action coming your way. I'll see you in the next episode.